Hi everyone, welcome to another video. I recently joined Swiggy as a front-end intern in their customer-facing web team. And the experience so far has been amazing. The only reason that I'm making this particular video is to provide you guys with an interview experience and with the hope that this video might turn out useful to you in either your next Swiggy round or in some other company wherever you're interviewing for a front-end role. So let's move past the generics and I'll share the basic details quickly. So the interview took around two and a half to three weeks. It was for the front-end intern role, as I said earlier. I came across the opportunity through a LinkedIn post from one of the employees and I basically applied using a referral. So the opening was in general just a Google form, but I reached out to few employees on LinkedIn and asked them to share my profile internally for this particular role. So that is how I got the referral. And after the uh, referral, I basically got the hacker rank round, which we'll come to later. But yeah, these were like the basic details. Other than this, the feedback process after every interview was not more than one or two days. Basically, after every interview, I got the call from the HR if I would be moving to the next round or not within one or two days. And that was like very good on their end because I was getting feedback very quickly and I wasn't supposed to wait for multiple days just to hear back from their end. Other than this, the POC or basically the HR between me and the company, they conducted the interviews very well. They were scheduling the interviews very well. They were taking into consideration my availability, interviewer availability and the entire process was very smooth. So those are all the generics about the interview. Now let's quickly look over what all interview rounds I went through and what were uh, what were the things that were included in those rounds. Beginning with the rounds that I had at Swiggy, there were four rounds in total. The first round was basically the OA round and then there were three succeeding interview rounds. Starting with the OA, also please note that I have these notes written with me over here and I'll like take reference from this just so that I don't miss out on any important detail with respect to the interview experience. So don't mind that. Starting with the OA round, the OA round was conducted on hacker rank. It was of 120 minutes and consisted of 13 questions. If I remember correctly, 12 or 13 questions. The first question was a DSA question. And this OA was an interesting OA. I'll tell you why, because this was designed around the role that I applied for. And how is that? Because the first round was a DSA question, just like every other OA. But then there were 10 MCQ questions that basically consisted of core JavaScript knowledge, React fundamentals, CSS questions, etc. And finally, there was this very interesting React question, wherein on the platform itself, I could see a live review of a UI and its React code was written. And I was supposed to make changes to that React code to make some pre-written tests pass. And that was like a very interesting question. So kudos to the Swiggy team for designing an OA that is with respect to the role that I applied for. So amazing job there. Moving to the rounds with the interviewers, the very first round that I faced was basically a machine coding round. Now, if you're someone who's been regularly giving front-end interviews, you must already know that machine coding round is like one of the go-to rounds for almost every company nowadays and it, it has become like a crucial part of the interview process for front-end roles. If you don't know what machine coding round is, it is basically a round wherein you're supposed to work on your local system and the interviewer basically asks you to build some sort of UI or basically perform data fetching, etc. Some examples of questions that are asked in this, part this particular round are basically the interviewer asks you to make a modal or make an accordion or basically fetch data from an API and render it or basically a progress bar, a countdown and basically stuff like this. So this round is basically to test if the components that you usually directly just import from any UI library, do you even know how they are built under the hood? And it is to check whether you can like write good code or perform uh, DOM manipulation in vanilla JavaScript and stuff like that. So vanilla JavaScript, this is like a interviewer dependent thing or company to company dependent thing. Some companies allow you to use React, Next, etc. technologies in this, this particular round, but some companies ask you to 
write code in this particular round in mm-hmm. vanilla javascript and perform dom manipulation using uh, document.get element by id and all of that stuff so prepare accordingly there are a few things that are important with respect to this round i have written them down so first of all you need to have like a good understanding of core javascript and by core javascript what i mean is dom manipulation and built in functions for arrays strings etc because you'll you there might be a possibility that you you'll have to do manipulation on either strings or arrays or etc dom manipulation in javascript in vanilla javascript is very important i'll come to the third point it is like one of the most important ones uh finally there are two other things completion is very important the task that you're given in this particular round make sure that you complete it properly optimization can be done later the completion of that task is very important writing clean code is very important make sure you name your functions and variables and components properly and finally the most important thing time management is very important in this particular round because you're supposed to think around the ui you're supposed to think how you'll fetch data manipulate it and then render it also you're supposed to basically break this entire code into multiple functions to make the code clean overall so there's like a lot of things that are involved in this particular round so make sure you manage your time properly i'll refer i'll i'll suggest that you watch this video by aksha seni on machine coding round it is like an amazing video kudos to him for making this particular video and yeah do check out this resource i think this should be good enough to give you a good understanding of how to tackle machine coding round the next round that i faced was basically psgs round which basically translates to problem solving and data structure round and this was like every other data structure round and with respect to swiggy the questions ranged from easy to medium lead code level questions and if you are specifically giving an interview at swiggy I, some of the data structures that you can try focusing on are basically stacks queues linked lists trees and graphs now this round is particularly interviewer dependent sometimes some interviewers ask really easy questions sometimes some interviewers ask very tough questions so be prepared accordingly if you are interviewing for a front end role you might be asked to code your uh, solutions in javascript i was asked to do the same in the swiggy round the question that i was given i had to code the solution for that in javascript so be prepared for that as well and yeah this is like sort of an interview dependent round uh, in terms of the basically difficulty of this particular round so prepare accordingly coming to my final round at swiggy it was the hiring manager round and this was also an interesting round i'll tell you why the first half of the interview was around my resume and the interviewer basically asked a lot of in depth questions around my experiences and my projects and there were some metrics that i mentioned in my resume basically in terms of the impact that i made in my experiences and they basically asked how did i achieve those numbers or how did i get to that number and how basically i improved the overall system architecture of different companies that i worked with so make sure you have like an in depth understanding of the work that you did in your previous experiences the projects that you have worked on the difficulties you faced during those projects or internship experiences etc have like a very good understanding of your resume that is like very important for this particular round and the second half this of this particular round was an interesting round uh, interesting section because it was majorly hld that is high level design wherein i and the interviewer together had like a discussion and we were trying to build a uh, google calendar and that was interesting because the interviewer was very good and they made me feel comfortable in this particular round and made sure that i know that there are no right or wrong answers for this particular section the only goal of that particular section was to check if was if i was able to participate in the discussion and if i was like able to think around technicalities of how the design implementation should be of such a product and basically like have a conversation with the interviewer so the interviewer was very good in helping me understand that aspect of this particular section so if you are have if you are like about to give a hiring manager round make sure you prepare a little bit of hld and uh, like try to design a few existing products on your own think around how they are built and how the data schema would look like etc stuff so yeah that was pretty much it with respect to the interviews that i had at swiggy and 
I hope you had some sort of learning experience with this particular video and got to know about some new things. And if there is like any specific section of this video or any specific term that I mentioned that you want me to make an in-depth video on, do let me know. If you want me to make a video on machine coding rounds or what sort of code JavaScript questions you should prepare for, what sort of React fundamental questions you should prepare for and other stuff like that, do let me know. I'll be happy to make that. And I hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.